Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I'm going to summarize Genesis chapter 14, where there was a small skirmish between nine different kings of the region. Four kings, led by Kedorlamer, king of Elam, were terrorizing the area. They had all the other areas subdued because they were strong together. They defeated great armies such as the Rephaites. This group of people likely had many warriors with Nephilim DNA, so when Kedorlamer defeated them, it was impressive. Five kings gathered together and rebelled against this powerful king, including the king of Sodom and the king of Gomorrah. They went to war against the four powerful kings but were defeated. Everything in the cities were captured, including all the people. And since Lot and his family were living in Sodom, they were captured too. Remember when Lot decided to take his family and livestock to the good land? There's one bad thing about good land. Everyone else wants it too. And if they are stronger than you and are warmongers, you can say goodbye to your property. Abram, on the other hand, didn't have anyone wanting his land, so he lived in peace. Someone escaped the war and ran to tell Abram that the strong kings took Lot to be their slave. Abram didn't like hearing about that. He gathered all 318 of the people in his household that were trained in battle and went to rescue Lot. Abram divided the men into small teams and during the middle of the night went into the camp of the armies and beat them all down. The armies didn't know what was going on since it was the middle of the night and they ran away to modern day Syria leaving all of their slaves and war spoils behind. This goes to show that a small group of people can defeat a much larger army if God is on their side. And we would do well in remembering that. Abram rescued Lot and rescued all the people of the cities while he was at it. The king of Sodom met Abram and told him he could keep everything, but only let all the prisoners go free back to their cities. Abram said no. He didn't want anyone to say that the king of Sodom is the reason why Abram was rich. He wanted all the glory to go to God. Abram apparently swore an oath to God that if God would help Abram's people defeat this great army, that he would not take any spoils and would give 10% of everything he had back to the Lord. Abram then went to see Melchizedek, the king of Salem. This king was also a priest who worshipped the true God Most High. This priest blessed Abram and received his 10% tithe. I would like to point out two notable things here. This was well before Moses' day when he instituted the priesthood through Aaron's line. Melchizedek was a priest of God from a different order. The New Testament states that Jesus Christ is a priest in the same order as Melchizedek. The other thing I wanted to point out was the fact that Abram gave 10% of everything, a tithe, to Melchizedek well before the Mosaic Law was instituted. That means this offering to God was most likely set up during Adam and Eve's day. The most important verses in this chapter are Genesis 14, 18, and 19, which states, And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. I think one thing God wants us to understand after reading this chapter is the fact that someone who puts God first in their lives can fight against and defeat much greater and stronger foes. Abram prayed and asked God to help him get his nephew back from the warmongers. And God decided to say yes. Over and over again throughout scripture, we can find examples of this same thing happening. Have you ever put your faith in Jesus? Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation today. Ask the Lord to forgive you and save you. Trust that what Jesus did on the cross was to pay for your sin and believe that the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Turn your back on this world. There's something much more valuable offered to you. Make the choice to be saved today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, 
share it with somebody. See you next time.